Hi and welcome to my playhouse. And today we're gonna try and do something um, about my living room here. I did the video presentation of the year 2018 and I kind of said that I was not getting anything done on my house. I was always too busy doing server videos, and battery videos and um, a lot of other good stuff. And a lot of you said in the comments that, well, you would actually enjoy watching me do something on the house. So um, I know I'm not gonna get as many views on these videos, but well, if I don't do something, I'm never gonna get this house done because uh, yeah. So today I'm gonna be working a little bit on the house and I'm gonna bring you along and see what I do because I have lots of projects here that I haven't gotten around to for quite a while. I have been doing tiny little bits of work uh, in between, but yeah, it doesn't look like much, that's for sure. So let's see what we're gonna be working on today. First over here, of course, is the wood stove. And you can see that the little vacuum cleaner hasn't been uh, doing its job uh, lately. So that's still in the basement. So I need to bring that up again. The Lenovo sign has found its way in here. Over here, the wall is not done. It's, um, I put fiber drywall on it. This is something called Famacel. And it's um, flame resistible. Well, it doesn't burn. And that has been put on with tiling adhesive and screws. You can kind of see the screws, they're big window and, and door mounting screws that I'll put these on with. So over here the wall is done. I have um, plastered it and there is even some wallpaperish on there. And I have a lot of stuff just sitting around here. I moved the computer in here because of the wood stove. It was so nice being able to have a fire in the background and just sit here at the computer and well mainly reply to comments and also I do watch some YouTube videos on there occasionally. Um, over here I have part of a kitchen that I got a few years back and um, that was too big to go up the staircase so it just ended up there. I repaired it, but uh, for example, here used to be a the, this this board used to just go over here. So there has been a sink there. I think I'm gonna um, get rid of this. I'm gonna use a big hammer and chop it up into pieces, and I'm gonna use it as firewood. I'm just gonna burn the burn the thing. Yeah, it has been sitting there for one and a half year. If I really need one of these, I will go and get one. Um, I have started in here, I've moved some of the computer equipment out here. And to move that out there, I had to remove something out there further away. Also, I had my presents, Christmas gifts, I have some rails, I have some cables. Well, I need to clean up the living room a little bit before I can really start working here. But the idea is that I have a plastering material here that goes on the wall. Like over here where I have nothing, I have done nothing. You can see two boards that meets up. This is not even, there is a difference here. So what you do, you take this big thingy here. Oh, someone didn't clean those very well. And you put uh, a lot of plaster on there and you even that out um, and over that an um, area well that little gap doesn't matter at all so I have been doing that over here also two boards meeting up here uh, that has gotten one go and um, it will need another one and then when when that has dried up I, I polish it with this uh, Ryobi uh, I forget what this that had a funny name, didn't it? That was a orbital or something, random. Okay, I did a video on that. Um, I forget what they called this. It was something random orbital sander. So that's, um, that goes there. 
So I'm gonna clean up a bit in here and I'm gonna plaster this wall and see if I get over to this wall as well. I have some rails here. Now they were they were on the floor. So I wanna make this They're always all over the place when you move them around. They extend when you don't want them to, and well, it's just a hassle to move them around if they are not fastened in some way. So I found that the easiest way is just to gaff at them. This is kind of maybe embarrassing. I do believe that I have shown this, but I got a fan mail some time back from Hen Kok in Holland, and he sent me three Intel X5460s, but I never used those for anything. So, well, I better not put those too far away. Could just see that if you. Um, very nice little CPU, 3.16 gigahertz. It's a quad core um, from back in 2006. 1,333 megahertz front side bus. So yeah, we better upgrade something with those. Thank you again, Cook, Hank, Hank Cook. I have no idea. I'm sure I'm butchering that. Thank you. Don't want to break anything too big in the in the living room. So I'm gonna do this very carefully. Yeah. No. And I'm gonna pick up the phone. Oh, they don't make him like they used to. I didn't hit it very hard. I didn't want pieces flying all over the place, smashing windows or cracking stuff that I would have to repair again. So, well, I'll clean this up. Okay, that is out of the way. So now it looks a lot better in here. Um, yeah, moved stuff from over here. Need to move the axe out of the way. And uh, there's a lot of boxes over here still. I really should do something about. Yeah, but it's opening up so that I can work over here and that's a good thing, kind of, so. I really need to move this upstairs, but it's a two-man job. So now this big piece of wall is exposed and I can plaster it. I have some conduit stuff going on up here. I'm not supposed to cover that one up at least and that one if I ever need to get to that that would be hell. Anyway normal would have work lights I just have studio lights so we could we could make this cold or we could make this hot like cozy color. Before I start plastering I make have to make sure that all these screws are in far enough so that they don't stick out and the easiest way is to use the big the big this thing which I'm sure a lot of you will tell me in the comments what is called in English because I do not know so it looks like I'm not gonna be doing much work I have a screw here right there that was used for some some new year's decorations last year i'll have to remove that 
Okay, and of course I'm in the way for the light, but I found a couple of screws down here where this thingy um, hits, so I've been lazy there. So I'm gonna tighten those up with the Ryobi. Uh, see if we can pick something that makes sense. Will this work? Seems that they. Yeah. I think everything else is good. So, putting on this plaster thingy here, and um, well, someone has really been thinking here. They have made a new way to open up a bucket. There's like finger, you put your fingers in here, and you pull that up, and it opens up the bottle, and you don't have to struggle with this big lid. So, uh, someone needs to get an award for that one. So this is some plaster thing and it's it's good for years and years. It's awesome. Normally I have had the powder that you mix up with water and it's just a hassle. You can buy a bucket like this, at least here in Denmark. We I think a bucket like this is 100-ish crowners, 120 crowners. That's like $15. Maybe a little bit more, eighteen dollars, and uh, well, there is five liters, isn't it? Or is it more? It's nine liters of plaster in here. And what I found is that using this one is way better than trying to to do small repairs with this one. Um, it just never gets as good. So what I do, I I, I put some. I used the little one to put stuff on the big one, so, and you can never put on, well, you can put on too much, but, well, the more you have, the, the better a result, I think, you get. So, I usually do something like this, and, um, well, I'm, I'm gonna do this line here, and we might need to see some more up here, I don't know how far we get before we run out. And then you just put it on down here and put it on and then you go a few times. Sometimes you will pick up something, there is something here that is, uh, if you saw that it made a big line. Here I have a big gap so I need to put some more in there and this way it's hard to see right now when it's still wet, but when it dries up, um, you'll almost not be able to touch that there is a difference there. And yeah, that, I think that's the way it's meant to be. But as it's so much a difference here, I wanted to go have a bigger area over here where it evens out to become even with this. Um, the wall wasn't that straight uh, or I didn't make it straight. so. Now I'm covering up my mistakes or something.
got a couple of screws here that wasn't um, haven't gone in long enough this one and there's one over here and when I try to tighten them they just turn around so what I do I will unscrew it and I'll put a piece of uh, stick in there and I'll try again see if um, if they go in further then okay uh, I got this done up here or at least most of it I, it needs another go I need to uh, polish it a bit and give it another go I did all of this over here and the same thing it will need another run this uh, up here turns out really well uh, it's gonna be hidden very well so that's awesome and over here the same thing I have a similar connection uh, like here it goes down to this uh, plug there so there is a cable that goes from here and to there and kind of the same thing over here from there and down to there so um this is a very natural place to stop the video because well the bucket is empty so um, uh, i thought i had more of this but i have used a lot back at my creepy basement where i've been doing some repair work as well um, I bought this entire bucket for this project, but I have used it elsewhere. <laughs> so thank you very much for staying with me on this weird project where I just work on the house and clean up the living room. This was a weird video, right? Uh, but it's that bad. I like it. So I'll, um, I'll be ready to do something more. Prepare the walls for wallpaper, kind of like it has over here. This is just some, I have no idea what that material is called. I'm sure someone in the comments will tell me. <laughs> so we can have a look at it. it. Looks like this. It's pretty normal for office buildings and I kind of like it. So I, I picked that one. And my mom is really good at helping putting that up. It doesn't stick very well to this wall type. The glue that you put on there, it dries out way too fast on that material. So when you put up this wallpaper, it's a really good idea to paint it first, just for the wall glue to have something good to stick onto. Um, but first I have to polish everything down and give it another go. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again. And have a really nice day. Bye bye.